Okay, guys, so in this video, I'm going to help you um, do your AWeber, which is your autoresponder and your capture page for your DSD prospects. Um, with that, you're also going to be able to make a list for your downline um, and put in both um, for your DSD prospecting list. You can either name it DSD, DS Domination, anything that you would like so that you know that this is for your prospect list. Um, and you're going to put in this code in that section. And don't worry, I'm just giving you a brief rundown right now. I will explain more um, detailed as we go into the training video. And then you're going to make another list for your downline. And this way, you all you have to do, it doesn't matter if you're very brand new or not, your downline will start to receive the training email to get them going. And... Um, so you're not going to have to worry about, oh my God, now what do I do? The only things you have to do once you have um, a Weber and you bring in somebody into the team, you're going to want to throw them into your downline list so that they start receiving those emails. And you also want to add them into our DSD uh, Power Team page and our DSD Fearless Dominators page as well. Um, you don't have to worry about adding them into the corporate one because the link is in the back office for them to easily click on that to um, get into the power into the corporate page uh, for whatever package they would own. Okay. Um, now one more other thing before I really get into the video um, is actually going into our downline. You do have to, or our team pages. Um, to find this information that we're going to explain in the video. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to go into your Facebook. Try to get this down. Okay. So you're going to go into your Facebook and you're going to come to our DSD Power Team page. Okay. Then you're going to click in the files. And you're going to click on the document that says Affiliate Systems. And here, you're just going to scroll down if your upline hat is an affiliate for AWeber. And it's not really easy to become an affiliate for AWeber, um, but I am an affiliate for AWeber, so please use this link if, you're, if your upline does, is not an affiliate for AWeber. Okay, so you're going to click on the, the file. Scroll down until you see the AWeber, and you're going to um, copy this entire link. Okay. Now, one thing that I do want to mention in this document, this affiliate systems document, um, our big team, our Fearless Dominators team, was pushing the S2D2 system. Um, what that system basically was was just a capture page you no longer need to have that with this training. So all you have to have is AWeber. And the other thing you could use um, to help you, uh, it's not a necessary thing either, but you could get a domain name. And I like to use GoDaddy. So um, GoDaddy is very cheap. It's very uh, easy to use. And, and their customer service is amazing. They will literally help walk you through step by step um, while you're going through and, and linking up your your uh, GoDaddy domain with your correct link okay and and making sure that it's live and now once you do that um, it does take about 15 minutes or so for it to actually be all set that you can actually give that link out. So give yourself that you know at least 15 minutes. Sometimes depending on you know uh, the system and things because let's face it, it is technology and, and technology can go down and you know um, they could be working on things things of that nature. So it may take up to 48 hours, um, but I think the the shortest amount of time is 15 minutes. Okay, so. Um, while we are in this page as well, um, let's go over just really quickly why this is why 
what this uh, document basically says, okay? Um, so if it says, okay, if you're using AWeber, you can use this right here for your follow-up downline series, okay? And then this one here is for your prospects. So when you make your list, you want to make sure you grab the correct list. Now, if you're not in my downline or if you're not using a Weber and you're bringing people in, please go ahead and give them um, this link of here right here for mine. This way they can subscribe to my um, downline training series emails um, so that they're getting the correct emails you know and the correct training. Um, obviously with, even with this training emails, you still, you know, would want to answer any questions or help your, your downline as much as you can. If you're not knowledgeable of what your downline is asking you, um, that's when you want to refer them back up to, um, you know, one of the team pages. Uh, you can always, you know, tell them to put it in the team page, ask their question to the team page. Somebody will always, you know, as soon as somebody sees it and can answer them, somebody will answer them. Um, but you can also get them in contact with your sponsor or another leader on our team here, and we will be able to help them as well. Okay, so if you're very brand new and, and you're scared to, you know, be an affiliate because you don't know how to do, to uh, train anybody don't worry about that we've got you covered um, these emails will do a lot and um, anything that you can't do for your downline um, there are trainers there are leaders here that will definitely be able to help you so don't worry about that um, don't let that stop you because um, we've got you covered we've got your back okay so uh, once you've done that um, you're going to enroll with a Weber and like I said you're all you're going to do is come down to this section down here and it's got a Weber you're going to click on this link that's right here okay and it will automatically bring you up and what you're going to do is you're just going to scroll over to the page where it says free trial and you're going to click on free trial And then you need to select a plan and it's going to give you, you know, first month free for only 19 a month. Um, you can do a quarter one where it's only going to cost you uh, 32 67 for your first quarter and then 49 for each quarter after that. Or you can do it for a, a yearly one. Um, I just did the monthly one. So I didn't have to pay anything out of pocket for my first 30 days. And then um, you're going to create your information. And nobody's going to see this but you. So it does not matter. You're going to, whatever, you know, you want to log in with your username for this, this is what you're going to put here. Put your first name, your last name, your email, your phone number. Your website, I left it blank. And your company name, I left that blank. Okay, then you do need to put in your billing information. Now, if you have already grabbed the uh, PayPal Credit Master Card uh, business card, use that. This way, you're getting credit for you. You know, every time you use that card, you get one percent cash back on every time you use it. So, you know, if you're already going to be paying for something, or you know. I use it for everything. I use it for AWeber. I use it for, you know, if I upgraded to any other packages in the back office. Um, I use it to buy my gas, my groceries, pay bills. I use it for everything. So um, you can definitely do that as well. So I would, like I suggest, um, put your PayPal credit card in information in here. Um, and if you do not have that card, if you don't have that information, all you have to do is come back into our Power Team page and come into the files and find the um, do document that says DSD helpful tips and links document okay it's right here now I do believe in the down in the downline training series this is also in 
like the second or third maybe email for your downline. So all you would have to do if you're if you if you don't have the system or anything, you just click on preview and you're going to scroll down till it says the PayPal card. And you're going to use this link to get this card. And like I says, you can use this link for everything um, and you will get 1% cash back on everything you buy with it. Um, and yes, you can even pay your bills if you wanted with this card. Um, what happens is it's you're going to go through a process. Let's see if we can click on it. And it's going to pull up PayPal. Okay, this is what you're going to see, and you're just going to click on Get a Card Today. Now, I'm not going to do that because I've already gotten it, um, but what's going to happen is you're going to put in any information that they ask, and then it's going to say, We'll let you know if you have been approved. Um, don't worry about it. It's not an actual credit credit card like they would, like they do not run your credit or anything like that. Um, once you get your card, and it takes about a week to get in the mail, um, you're going to follow the instructions. You're going to come back to this link, and you're going to click on Activate Now, and you're going to link it up to your account, you know, your your credit, your bank account. Um, so what happens when you have anything available sitting in PayPal, and you use this card, it's going to take it out of your available balance. If you do not have enough to cover your available balance, it will withdraw out of your bank account or whatever account you have it linked to. Okay? Um, so that is how easily you can go about getting that. So now on to the actual training of, um, okay, I've already cre created and, and created my AWeber account um, from this link. So now what do you need to do? We're going to set up our lists, our email campaigns, and link your prospecting AWeber list capture page with your GoDaddy or any other domain service if you choose to use a domain. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started on that training now. Okay, guys, so once you have actually created your AWeber account, um, <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and start um, setting up your account, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down to the bottom, and we're going to click on Skip This Video. <coughs> <coughs> You're going to make sure all of your information here is correct. And then you want to make sure that your sender name and this email should appear with your emails. You want to make sure that that's your name and your email that you're going to use for DSD. Okay, so the next, once you clicked on the next step, um, we're going to create your list name. So here you're going to name it, you know, anything you want. Um, you're going to want to do two, one for your prospects and one for your downline. Um, but you do have to do them each individually, so just choose which one you want to do first. Um, we're going to do our prospecting list first. So you can name it DSD, DS Domination, um, you know, anything like that, so that you know that this is for your prospects list, okay? And then you're going to scroll on down, and you're going to type in a little description about what this is. Um, so you're going to say, you know, um, depending on how you had your ad uh, or what you put in your ads. Um, so you want to just say a little bit of information about, you know, what you had in your ad. So if you said, you know, work 100% online with e-commerce, no recruiting required, uh, no inventory, no bothering friends or family, anything like that, um, that is what you would want to put in here. So, it's totally up to you, like I said, how you word it, but you just want to make sure you get a clear picture in your prospect's mind. So, if they click on the um, 
why am I getting this email or anything like that, that's going to be the message that pops up. You know, you had requested more information about working from home with us or something like that. So once you click on this, the next step, you're going to scroll all the way down to the approved message and create a list. Um, don't worry about what it says here. We're just going to go and approve it and create the list. And we're going to remove that here in a few steps. Um, so what we're going to do next is create a sign-up form. And if the form does not populate up when you um, are getting to this step, you can easily, in this black section up here, um, you, you'll be able to see where it says the home and stuff like that. You'll be able to see, I think it's the fourth button over, um, that says sign-up list or sign-up form or something like that. So here, it gives you a couple of different templates that you can use, and you're going to choose a template that you want to use. Um, keep in mind that we were told off of the corporate affiliate training, um, when we had it about AWeber and stuff like that, that the um, uglier ones work the best. So just choose you know anything that you would like and once you choose on them if it gives you different color variations you can choose those as well um, my favorite color is green so I went with green um, Elizabeth is is playing with the different colors to kind of see what it's going to look like so she can choose which one she wants to use and I highly suggest for you guys to do the same thing as well Okay, so once you've chosen the one that you want, you're going to click on Load Template. Okay, so now that the template is loaded, you want to click on Name, and you want to click on the Edit, um, and you're going to click on this little section here that says First and Last Name. Um, so that it gives them two separate sections to fill in their name. Um, okay, so over here where it's got the field section, you can actually just click on that and see what is available in the field section, or you can create a new field. Now, with you creating a new field, um, it's going to basically ask you what you want to ask your question. And whatever question you want to ask your prospect, you're kind of like pre-qualifying them, um, you're going to type that in here, okay? So it doesn't really matter, you know, what type of questions you ask. This is just you wanting to get, get more information about your prospect. So if you want their phone number, obviously you would want to put phone number in here. Um, so once you put it saved, um, it's going to pop up next of what type of box do you want your prospect to fill out. Um, if it's a phone number, an email, last name, things like that, you want to use the text input so they can literally just type in, you know, uh, uh, what it's going to be required. Um, if you want it to be required, like if you, if you want your prospects to fill it out before they go on to your sales page video, um, you can just put a little check mark next to this required section right here. Um, and if you don't want a required, um, you don't have to click on the check mark and just click on save. Okay, so um, again, all you're going to do is just set this the way you want it and... Okay, so now... Um, Elizabeth is typing in another question. Um, she's typing, can you use Microsoft Word or Excel? And you're going to see her click on Save, and then it's going to populate um, with how you want it to come out. So with that, um, she's basically asking a yes or no question, right? Um, so she's going to click on the Select, um, the select box. And what you're going to do is you're going to create your boxes that you want to have, you know, be available for your prospect to select. Um, so she's doing one for yes and then one for no. Once you type in yes, you have to click in on that green box with the uh, plus sign. And then when you ha have all of your questions done, then you're going to click on the save it and um, cre continue creating different fields as 
you know, you want to, you know, of the, all the different questions you want your prospect to kind of answer for you, okay? So now we're going to show you another different way you can actually um, do this form as well. So she's asking, when do you want to start? You're going to actually see a thing that says date, and it's going to pop up, up a calendar. So, you know, you can choose this, um, and you can actually have, you know, when do you want your you know when do you want to start and your prospect can literally just click on the down button and click on the month date and year that they want to start okay now if you want to you know rearrange your questions all you have to do is click on them and drag them where you know in the order that you want them to be okay so let's just say that you have your form all ready to go you're going to click on save form and then you're going to scroll back down to the bottom again and click on go to step two. So here we're going to do our thank you page. And you're going to click on the drop down box. And it's going to give you a couple of different versions to choose from. Or a couple of different things to choose from. And we're going to click on custom page. What you're going to do here is you're going to go back to your back office and grab a URL or the link that um, so if you don't do that this is all your prospect is going to see if you keep it at the basic version so what you're going to do is you're going to click on the custom page and then you're going to um, like I said go back to your back office grab your link and paste it in here And I would suggest snagging one of the sales page links. So you're going to grab that, copy it, and then go back to your Aweber and paste it in where it says your URL section. Okay. Again, make sure that there, you know, it's cleaned up and it doesn't have extra anything. Um, and then I like to click it so it opens up into a new window so that they can see the thank you page and then the video is, is starts to play on the next page and it's going to you know they'll be able to just click over to that page if it doesn't automatically open up um, that window in front of them already so next thing we're going to do is we're going to come down to the unsubs already subscribe page and we're going to click on custom page again this one you're going to go back into your back office and I would suggest grabbing um, the below link for your live right webinar registration forms this way they can um, register for the next live corporate prospecting um, hangout or presentation okay so basically with the already subscribed page you know if, if somebody goes back to your domain site or they go back to your um, you know whatever link that you've given them they're not going to see the same thing. They're going to see something different. Um, so they're going to be able to register for the next uh, live corporate prospecting call and go from there. Now, I also have a check mark next to this pass form data. Um, so all you're going to do is you're going to click on, um, put a little check mark next to that. And what it does is on that thank you page, it actually populates their name and their email and thanks them for subscribing. Okay, so it's totally up to you if you want to do that or not. Um, if you check it, their name and email will populate. If you don't, um, it will just say, it will just have the basic thank you page. <clears throat> Okay, so once you've done that, you're going to go back down to the bottom and just save your form. Or go down to step, go back to, to go to step three. So here, um, you're going to actually want to install your, or you're going to want to have AWeber host your form. And from that, you're going to um, actually link this entire subscribers link here that, that AWeber gives you into where your domain list is, okay? So we're going to log into the domain and we're going to click on manage. 
And for some reason, Elizabeth's look went a little bit different than mine did. Um, so either way, it's totally fine. You're just going to basically get into where your domains are. Um, I think she had to click on Manage Privacy here, and then it brought up her domains that she has. Um, she's already had this domain from other businesses that she was in, even though she's no longer doing that business. Um, it was paid for, so um, she's just going to use that link to... Uh, do what you know what I mean for DSD so she doesn't have to grab a new one right now because she already has one so we're going to go down to the where it says forwarding and you're going to click on um, the manage underneath the forwarding where it's got forwarding and then domain off and you're going to click on manage and then what you're going to do is you're just going to grab that uh, you're going to click on add a new one here like I said, some hers is a little bit different than mine. Um, so all you're going to do is basically just get into this section that you see right here. And you're going to go back to your AWeber and put in the entire link that AWeber gives you for your capture page. Okay? So we're going to go back down and see where it says by collecting subscribers link with below. You're going to copy that entire thing. And go back into your your uh, domain site wherever you're getting it. I like to use uh, GoDaddy. So again, here all you're going to do is just paste in that entire link that we got from Aweber and put it in here to where it says forward to. Okay, that's all you have to do. Um, and you're going to click on forward with masking. This way, um, when your prospect types in and goes to your domain, um, if you do not have forward with masking, it's going to have that entire uh, forms.aweber.com big ugly link. Um, when you use it with masking, the only thing that they'll see at the top of the browser is your GoDaddy or your domain name. Okay? So once you've done that, you're going to click on save. And it normally takes about 15 minutes or so for it to link up properly um, before you can actually start using that domain site. Okay? So now that that is all done, um, what you're going to do next is we're going to go to messages and you're just going to click on the word messages okay you're going to see the pop down don't worry about that just click on the word messages and we're going to scroll down till we see campaign sharing so we're going to click on campaign sharing and then we're going to um, go back to our power team page on Facebook into the files to the set um, to the file that says affiliate systems and you're going to grab the link for the autoresponders that are already created for you um, just make sure as you're looking at it you're, you're choosing the correct one um, so if you're doing a downline one you're going to use the one that says follow-up series for downline uh, but this one here we're doing for a prospect so you're going to want to use your follow-up series for your prospects so you're going to copy that entire thing um, then what you're going to do um, make sure that there's no spaces um, either before the A for A, A W list um, or after this B that's in here and you're just going to paste it into this campaign code now, if you get an error message after you paste it in, you click on load campaign, um, you have a space somewhere in there that you have to go through and erase that space out of there. Um, and then what I do is I also turn my um, enabled campaign sharing to open up for follow-ups and broadcasts. Um, and this way, like, I can send you guys pro um my emails that I, I sent a, bro a broadcast out for my prospects letting them know hey there's a, a webinar or anything like that um, and I send it to you guys so that you guys can just basically use that and send it to your prospects as well 
okay um, it's not that I'm telling you hey I know you've been interested in DSD or anything like that um, I'm sending it to you to help you so that you can just use that email that I sent you you know you're going to create your own email broadcast and I will do a video on how to do that um, all on its own um, but what you're going to do is you're just you know you can do that so what Elizabeth is doing here is you're going to click um, on list options and what we're doing is we're taking out that um, opt-in page it's a second opt-in page so after they fill out their form um, they'll get an email and it will say you know to confirm your email subscription and please click here we're taking that option out um, so that once they fill out the form on your form that you created they automatically get into your list and they automatically start receiving the email campaigns that you have set for them okay so what you're going to do is you're going to click on list options um, in the gray section where it's got home, messages, subscribers, sign-up forms, reports, and list options. You're just going to click on list options. Um, don't worry about any of the drop-down that pops up. Just click on list options. And then over here on the left-hand side, you're going to see confirm opt-in. You're going to click on that. And we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and we're going to turn them to off so what you want to do is you see how it says on you're going to just click it and it's going to say you know you're going to confirm it to be off and then it was going to show this little off button so you want both of these to show as off okay and then what we're going to do is we're just going to um, go back up and then we're going to click on And if you click on the basic information that's over here on the on the right, um, you're going to be able to, to see all your information. So if you wanted to change your description, this is where you would do that as well. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go all the way back up to the very top. And in this blue section, um, it says manage list. You're just going to click on manage list. and then create a list.